What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cheap Tool Reviews, the channel that reviews the cheapest tools from eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, Wish, you name it, and we'll review it. And of course, uh, we've got a new setting today. We're actually in a, one of the rooms in my house. So I want to say thank you to all our subscribers that we currently have because we just hit, what, about 51, 52 subscribers. And, you know, that's a big milestone considering we only had two subscribers when we first started. It was myself on my personal channel and my brother. Um, so... We're getting there little by little, and of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. We try to upload videos every Wednesday, so uh, we're going to try this one standing up, guys. If we don't have a table or anything like that, we didn't really prepare ourselves for this one. So uh, I already I had to open the tool, but I haven't opened the package, so uh, we're going to get started with that. And this tool is actually a phone, an Android phone inspection camera, so you know we'll see if this really works the way it's supposed to um costed like ten dollars or something like that not real expensive especially if it's going to do its purpose as an inspection camera so you're just going to plug it into your you know charging port on your phone if it supports this and hopefully this will you know you can look into certain areas of the car or whatever you're really trying to look at and you can't physically see in there yourself so uh, let's see what this we got this little looks like a fishing hook I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me open this up. Some type of hooks here. Not exactly sure what they're used for. So I'm just going to set these down right here. Got a shelf here. Uh, what else is in here? Two little plastic things. I'm not sure if you can see what those are. Two of those. We got these. Uh, what else do we got? We got... A regular USB to a micro USB connector. We got a USB Type C to micro USB on this small adapter here. And let's see, the actual camera itself, uh, six feet of, of uh, wire length. We got this switch here. I'm not sure what that's gonna do and a volume i don't think this camera records but we'll check that out and a cd i mean this is supposed to be for a phone so i'm not sure why they would have a oh i guess it works for a computer too we'll try it on my computer uh, and we got the instructions on what to download so we can make this work correctly Let's see, we got the Android and PC Endoscope. Uh, only works with Android system phone, does not support iOS. So if you have an iPhone, it's not going to work for you guys. Um, and it has to have these specifications. It's a HD resolution, a 640 by 480 on your phone, and 1280 by 720 on your PC. So it's going to tell us here we have to download an app. So let me get this whole thing situated and set up on my phone, guys, and then we'll... We'll hit back. All right, guys. So we got the camera all situated, guys. We got the app. Uh, the app is actually comes from a website, so you can't get it inside the app market. Um, the hook that actually that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video is actually an attachment. So if you're trying to get something, let's say in a spot that you can't reach or you can't see, of course, then you'll put the hook on the end of this camera and you'll you know you'll fish it out with that. And the other one that that was with it is actually a magnetic. So you just switch that out and use the magnetic tool if you're trying to you know retract the screw or something. Um, so the first issue that we actually have with the camera is that we we figured out in this in this spot here there is a connection issue it's not working properly uh, so I'm gonna try and get it to work right now guys I'm gonna try my best so I can do this recording for you guys and see if we can you know get this get you guys to see what we're looking at when we when I got it to work for the first time uh, so we can look inside this engine that we have here this engine is no good but we're going to look inside of it and see how bad it is or what what's going on inside there if there's anything going on inside there so give me a few minutes guys i'm going to try my best to get this back up and running for you guys if it doesn't work guys then i'll let you guys know what's going on okay so we got the video or the camera to work for this quick minute two minute video um so you can see here clearly the video quality is not the best i wish it was a little bit better but of course guys it was only ten dollars the end of the camera it's you know it's straight you know flat i wish it had like a tapered end to it it might be easier to insert into areas like that 
you can see I'm having trouble trying to get it to go into the spark plug hole. If it wasn't for that, then I think that would be a better situation. But you can see here inside the cylinder, you can see, and there's, you know, some type of piece of metal that's inside there. So I'm not sure exactly what that might be. I was going to try and use the hook to get it out, but the camera stopped working. So I wasn't able to retrieve that like I really wanted to. I mean, you can see pretty good inside the cylinder with the lighting, but just real grainy. You know, it's not the best quality. I wish it was better, but, you know, that's what you get for $10, you know. And as you guys know that I stated, the connection is poor. Something's wrong with the that little score that I showed in the, in the video with the switch <clears throat> and the the volume control. But that volume control actually ended up working for the brightness of the video. So I guess it worked in a little bit if you really needed to do that. So I'm going to do the second cylinder. So again, a little bit of trouble trying to get into that one. But you can see here it's dirty inside. You know, not exactly. You can't, it doesn't have the detail to be able to define what it might be. I mean, it's probably carbon buildup and whatnot. But, you know, you can't really see as good as you'd want to see if you're looking for something specific. So same thing here, trying to get it in there with the camera being flat, it's a little difficult. I wish it was tapered, it would probably go in a lot easier. All right guys, so this is the final thoughts on the tool. We got it to work for that minute clip or whatever long it lasted and that was it. But we did know that the, the problem is somewhere inside this because when I would wiggle this around, the connection inside of it must be bad or whatever. I'm gonna guess that it has something to do with the way they package it in that little thing. As you guys remember, it was all, you know, put in a circle. And you can see here, you know, I feel like that bend is too close to this. So that could be the problem. But for $10 and I only got a minute use out of this thing, not worth it one bit. And I'm actually, this one actually disappointed me more than another tool that didn't work right out of the box. Because those were, you know, straight disappointment versus this. It was like, oh, cool, it works. And then that was it. So for 10 bucks, guys, you're only going to use it one time. Not worth it. Do not get it. I'm going to put a link to this exact tool in the description so you guys know which one I'm talking about. And of course, guys, if there's any tools that you guys want us to review, please put it in the comments and we're going to do our best to review it. Uh, so, of course, like, comment, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys know when we upload new videos. And of course, uh, this is going to be something that we're going to try and do every month or so on the tools that we review for that month. We're going to do a cheap tool update. So we're going to let you guys know what tools we actually use. And what tools, you know, are a piece of junk and we don't use. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing for next week, guys. Thank you so much and stay safe.